Wait. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is all. Whoa. Okay. So how many? How many? One, two, two. That's twenty-two. Seventeen, eighteen. So we made more cuts with the. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny. Big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Good morning. Harry is being out of control needy this morning. Sorry. Anyway, gonna start the day. I've got a new Stud Stack member, so we've gotta get them in the group. We've gotta get their handwritten card. We gotta send them a sticker. Yeah, those are all the things you get when you first sign up. So let me knock that out real quick. Oh, and I totally forgot yesterday, hang on. All right, so a while ago I bought something from Dustin Penner. You know who Dustin Penner is. Um, and uh, he had a little box in his checkout page that said requests. And so I, I'll just show you. Okay, so that's what I bought, right? Also inside the package, I found and closed this photo. That's his foot for those of you that are too blind to see. He made a joke on Instagram. He says, no crazy requests yet. And so I thought, well, challenge accepted. So when I bought mine, I asked him to swipe it through his toes like a credit card. And the man sends me a picture of proof that he swiped it through his toes like a credit card. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. Um, I've been meaning to open this for a while, but I just haven't found a good time to do it. And anyway, this is that time now. He's a maker, content creator, friend of ours, and uh, you should definitely check out his channel. He's been getting into printing lately, so. Um, Anyway, just wanted to support him too, but yeah, uh, that's kind of funny. All right, so the plan today is to finally put to rest the debate between the table saw and the band saw for cutting out these strips to make cutting boards out of. And one thing is very apparent. Y'all are obsessed in a disgustingly unhealthy way with your table saws. And I get it, it's probably your most expensive tool in your shop. You, you, you wanna use it, right? You wanna justify the money that you spent. But I'm telling you, the table saw is not the heart of the workshop. It's the liver and y'all are abusing it. Y'all are using it for everything. Y'all are like woodworking alcoholics with your table saw as your liver and you're just beating the snot out of it, asking it to do everything when you might have a better tool in your shop. So, last thing, and I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. I have done everything you have suggested. I talked about this in the last two videos. Y'all either didn't pay attention, didn't care, or I don't know. Riving knife is appropriately matched to this table saw blade. I measured, it's okay. The fence, the riving knife, the table, everything is waxed. The fence is within two thou of being perfectly straight of the blade on the front and back. It's not binding on the fence. That was one of the first things I checked whenever I started doing this off camera of testing whether or not the table saw would be better than the bandsaw. <laughs> Way to have more floor space. We got the same amount of lumber for both tools. We've got in feed and out feed support. I have done everything you've suggested on the table saw within reason, and the bandsaw is set up and ready to go. So, I'm telling you, this bandsaw is gonna win. That's the one that's got my money. 
And so to uh, counteract some of my bias, because I want the bandsaw to win, I'm gonna do the bandsaw first. That way I know what time I'm trying to beat with the table saw. I'm gonna be safe, I'm not gonna be going super fast, but I just, I, that's how I'm trying to counteract my bias here. Again, this is not a scientific test. All right, so four minutes and eight seconds to get through the top layer of cherry and the two maple boards. Uh, I just stopped it at four-ish minutes because that just seemed like a logical stopping place. Um, I don't wanna waste any more time with this test. So basically the time to beat is four minutes and eight seconds with the table saw, uh, doing all the things you guys suggested and getting through the top two layers of this wood right here. Uh, four minutes is the time to beat, so. Wow, uh, it's a lot closer than I thought it would be. Um, I was going a little faster than I would have in a normal shop environment. I guess it just shows me that I, they're comparable. You can use either one. I didn't get any binding and except on the very last maple one. Uh, it started to pinch again on the riving knife. Again, if, it, if the riving knife thickness was the problem, that would happen on every single cut that I made with the saw. And it just doesn't. It only does it on certain maple cuts where there's internal stress squeezing on the riving knife. And so had we had a board in there that had a lot of internal stress like we dealt with two days ago, then yeah, like table saw would have lost. When you have stress in the wood, the bandsaw does not care one bit. All right, so let's count all the slats. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 on the table saw. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 on the bandsaw. Wait. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay, this is all, whoa, okay, so how many, how many? One, two, two, that's 22. And 17, 18, 19. So we made more cuts with the bandsaw in four minutes and eight seconds, and we made fewer cuts on the table saw with four minutes and 20 seconds. That's it, it's, it, it's, that's it, that is it. Bandsaw wins. I knew you could do it, buddy. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Ignore everything I said before that. Uh, bandsaw is faster. Um, use your bandsaw when cutting out slats for cutting boards. It's faster, you get more cuts, the blade kerf is thinner, you don't have to worry about internal stress of the wood, you can just rip it. If you've got a good quality blade on your bandsaw, which isn't that expensive, you will not have very bad ridges and you will be able to plane those out later when you make your cutting work. Yes, I'm so happy, yes! Something else I want you to see is the comparison between the two slats. One's from the table saw, one's from the bandsaw. The rough edges from the bandsaw are about the same as the rough edges from the table saw. Let me show you. Table saw, bandsaw. So you can see the striations from the table saw blade and you can sort of see the vertical <coughs> marks from the bandsaw. But again, the slats are essentially the same exact size and the roughness of the cut sides is negligible between the two. So I'm still gonna have to glue them up and plane them regardless of whether they came off the bandsaw or the table saw. Anyway, man, I'm so glad we got to the bottom of this. Listen, you guys taught me a lot about the table saw. Um, you taught me that I wasn't crazy. You know, for a while I was doubting my sanity. My table saw blade just had too many teeth. It was getting full of chips and getting bound up. So I appreciate you guys. That You really helped a lot, even though, man, I'm just so stoked. Thank you so much. And if you missed any of these videos, it's because you're not subscribed. You gotta subscribe, otherwise you're gonna miss the whole story. 
you're gonna look like a numbskull because you're making comments on one video and I already covered stuff the day before. So just do yourself a favor and subscribe. And you gotta hit that bell too because YouTube doesn't show you our videos. Just because you're subscribed does not mean that YouTube is gonna show you all of our videos. So if you don't wanna miss anything, you gotta hit the bell so you can get notified when a video of ours comes out. That way you won't be left behind and you can help engage in the comments and the thoughtful discussion. We've been getting hundreds of comments, which is awesome. I love that you guys are engaging, but um, you gotta be up to speed with the conversation. So you gotta subscribe, you gotta get notified. Um, that way you're part of the story. You guys have amazing advice and I'd love to get it, but if y'all don't have context on what I'm asking for, then you know we talk past each other and I don't wanna do that either. Jenny and I really like engaging with you guys. So yeah, make sure you're watching all the videos, get caught up to speed. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the play.